Hello, top of the line, and welcome back to part two of my Easter treats video. I'm going to adjust these rabbit ears. They are annoying me. Anyways, along with annoying things is makeup. It's very itchy on my face, and I can see that my nose is pink. I can see that I have a pink nose. All right, so anyways, continuing on. You know what? This, the Rice Krispies have sat in the freezer for, you know, a good 15 minutes or more. More like 20 minutes, okay? So they are good and ready. Now we are going to plop them out, and let's hope they work, okay? Easter face. Look at my Easter face. Okay, and then we're going to start part two of the recipe. Woo! Okay, my gosh. I ordered a cake taker and it has not come in yet, all right? So I've ordered the cake taker. But right now, I don't have it. I have a Halloween bowl. So I'm just going to pop the lid off and I'm going to use this as a cake taker right now. Because you can totally use that to bowl for fix and mixes. And cake takers. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Trivial. Okay. Now I hope this works. Let's see. Oh my gosh, is it going to pop out nice? Is it going to... Ooh, it's a little bit gooey. See the goo? Ooh, pretty clean. All right. Oh, wow. It just popped right out. Okay, that's a big, way bigger space than I thought I was dealing with. I've never actually used my jelly ring mold yet. We just throw these in the sink. And we just forgot to start my music. Say hello to my moo. This is moo. You say hello, that one's moo. And this one, this one here, this is Mittens. She is the one that's been in the videos previously. Just thought I'd better introduce them because they were cute and they think I'm making them food. My poor kitty, they think I'm making them yum yums. But I'm making mommy yum yums, not you. Okay, that's way bigger of a space than I thought we were dealing with. Oh, I'm scared. I hope this works. Okay. Okay, and then let's just move this aside. We've got the Easter treat part. Okay, let's see. How do these animals turn out? How do they turn out? Let me just pop the bunny out. Can I pop this bunny out? Oh gosh. Will this bunny wreck on me? Oh, he's popping out. Look at it. He's coming. He's hopping. He's hopping out. Come on. Whoop, whoop. Okay. I think I successfully made an Easter tree caught a very blobby bunny, okay? Very blobby bunny. All right. We don't happen to need to watch these Easter tree animals come to shape. That's good enough. All right. Then I have this with you guys. So part two of the Easter tree video. This is my own recipe. Okay, we're going to start with um, stock cooker. Where did I put it? Oh. <laughs> I washed it and it was drying up the sink. All right, we're gonna start with this one. Now I'm gonna need my phone a little bit because I wrote down my recipe that I invented. Let me just fry that off with the boob. There we go. Okay, we're gonna need one cup of butterscotch chips, okay? I think it's about, you know what, half the pack, okay? Big deal. They've already been previously half melted. a cup there. Oh, they're so yummy. Mm. Oh, I just got to eat some butterscotch sticks. Good. Uh, oh, all right. All right. Wait, where's my measuring cup? Okay, where's my measuring cups go? What did I do with my measuring cup? Um, found them. Okay, so actually I'm missing a step here, but anyways, you need one cup butterscotch chocolate chips. You're gonna need half a cup of peanut butter. Ooh, the good kind too. Woo! All right. Okay, Easter Bunny boing boing treat. Yeah. You can also use a micro pitcher. If I had a micro pitcher, I would be using it right now instead of the stack cooker. For this part, at least. Um, a micro pitcher would be amazing, but sadly, I don't have that type of piece yet. I think it's coming on. I don't know. I think it might be coming on sale, but I can't remember. Or maybe it's on sample right now. I can't remember. It's a little life of me right now. I don't know. Oh, 
All right, let's just clean this up. All right. I know St. Peter won't call my name. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to shut this in the microwave a minute because not stirring in the microwave because I forgot a step. Well, being uh, that simple, all right, whatever. I just threw my Tupperware on the floor again. Matt, don't touch that. Let me use the box too. Please don't touch that. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. I eat cat hairs every day. Go outside. Okay. So we're going to take four of these little muffin things, okay? I have two in the package right here, and I need two more. I'm going to need like four of these. I'm really hoping this will work. Four shredded wheat muffins. All right. This is where I was supposed to use chow mein noodles. We're going to bought them yesterday. And they look they taste like raw spaghetti. So I don't see how that would have made this recipe delicious. I don't really know much about chow mein noodles, so screw it. I made up my own recipe. So we got these four. You're going to need to break them up, okay? You need to broke it up. And maybe we'll try an experiment too. Because we need to melt some marshmallows too. Because I found that that really sticks us together. Okay, so now I got this all stuck together. Ooh! Yeah. This recipe also calls for half a cup of peanuts. Okay, roasted peanuts. Um, whatever. You know what? We're just going to use a one third for a minute because my one snap or whatever is busy. So that looks like a plenty good peanuts right there. Ooh. That looks like a lot of peanuts. Let me just kind of mix this by hand a little bit. Ooh. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. Now here's one thing I wish I had more of. I need more modulars. Like, I didn't realize until recently how bad I need modulars. Like, oh man, do I ever, especially in my baking supply cupboard, I need modulars. Like, talk about keeping your marshmallows fresh. Oh, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Here, we'll just get in the microwave that for a minute. Then I will add a few. I should have really done that while fixing the other thing. Sorry. Ah, I just got peanut butter all over my freezer. So we just gotta look at my bunny pipes. We'll wait for it. So do a little bunny dancing. Bunny dancing. Wait for the microwave. Wait for the microwave. Oh, gonna walk there. Oh. His ears are annoying. I look like an insane bunny. Alright, just waiting. Oh my gosh, look! There's a little creepy face on my fridge. That thing's pretty freaky looking right there. You see it? It's like a boogeyman. Right there, boop, I'm touching it. Boop. I'll just cover it up in case they're scared of it. Come on, microwave. Eight seconds. Just lighting. Wait for the microwave. Oh, bingo, ready to go. All right, let's see. Sorry, my computer wobbles a little bit. I also didn't bother wearing clothes for this video. I just put on my pajamas because, okay. Ooh, do you see that? Ooh, butterscotchy, peanut buttery goodness. All right. Now here's the part that I haven't done yet. I did yesterday, but kind of not really. We're going to throw some marshmallows in, hopefully to make this gooey. I don't know. We'll say eight marshmallows. Okay? We'll say eight marshmallows. We'll see if eight marshmallows will be enough. All right? Let's hope. I'm hoping. This looks so yum yum. Ooh. We're going to put those out there they are. All right. We're just going to do a little dance. We just gonna do a little dance. We just gonna do a little dance while we wait for the microwave. While we wait for the microwave. I know. Just did you like Macarena? Like da 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 da. The cat is looking at me like I'm crazy. Well, you're half right. How do you know my darling? 
That's how I dry my hair. She's rolling around on the floor. Thank you. Mm. Well, she might have eaten it. Now, maybe I'll just throw this mixture right in the stack of her bowl. That sounds way less messier. Okay, I'm just hoping that this will get gooey and sticky. I don't know. I haven't actually made this recipe this way. Let's turn this down. All right. Okay, let's throw in my cereal, peanut buttery, or peanutty goodness. Let's go mix this all up and good in here. Let me try not to. All right, this is sticking pretty good. Kind of like another Rice crispy, kind of creamy. I'm just hoping that this works. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking pretty darn good. It's just a little bit harder to stir than say Rice Krispies, but it's working. Okay. This is totally working. This is looking good. This is rocking it. All right. It's not quite as gooey as I'd like it to be, so I could always add more marshmallow. If you want it more is marshmallowy. Now, here's for the part I haven't done yet. Hmm. Okay, you're gonna need this filler ring. And the surprise over here. Where do I set down the surprise? Whatever. Okay. I'm gonna mix this actually quite a bit more. Because oh, and it really does not stick to the walls of a stack cooker, and that's like chocolate and peanut butter and marshmallow. You'd think that these things are sticky. I'm really kind of feeling like this should have more marshmallows. It's not sticky enough. I'm feeling like I need more marshmallows here. Okay, so maybe maybe I'll try it with a few more marshmallows. I can microwave this. It's fine. Like I said, this is trial and error. I'm inventing a recipe. Maybe we'll go with another one. Here's marshmallows this week. I would just go watch me. Okay, in the meantime, um, I know I'm just waiting and making a mess out of everything. Oh yeah, but it's so white. Should we do some more dances? Do some more dances. Maybe I'll pick the boom. I'll pick the boom. Do whatever. Just waste some time. Make it entertaining for everyone. Whoop, whoop. All right, whoop, whoop. <laughs> this is awkward. Awkward dancing. There, now the boogeyman face looks better. It's awkward. Awkward. This makes up a sound for you. I hate it. Hope I can get this off my face for my party tomorrow. Otherwise, then I'm going to look like an idiot. I get to act really goofy myself on my videos, you know. A couple of parties I have to be all pro and all, you know, calm and not all hyper like I am now. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Hold my hands. Call me again. Alright. Okay, let's see. Ooh, it smells amazing. Okay, so I'm going to mix in some more marshmallow -y goodness. Okay. This is my recipe part. This is my little invention. Oh, I am confident it is going to work. They threw in like 13 marshmallows in total. Oh, it's pretty gooey. It's pretty gooey. Okay, are we ready for this? Are we ready for some Easter time magic? This is my envisioning dream, and I have not done it yet. Okay, we're going to take the gooeyness, and we're going to fill the jelly ring mold with this Eastery goodness, okay? Right here in this nice little hole. I'm hoping it works. So you're gonna get two desserts in one. The peanuts really kind of throw it off. I think it would stick better if I didn't have the peanuts, but the peanuts taste so good. I wanna make a little bird's nest. 
just going to look. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's so warm. Okay. Very, very warm. All right. We want to make a little bird's nest in the middle. A little peanutty, rice crispy bird's nest with butterscotch. Oh, it's going to be good. All right. Let's just kind of shape this in. I'm going to kind of build my, oh, it's so hot, but don't really be touching this. Okay, this is working. This is working. Okay, now I think I can add my final piece. I was going to use Cadbury mini eggs, but I went to Dollarama and they were out, so I found these jelly eggs. Okay. See, this is also when you need modulars. When you open little packages like this, and it's like, well, what do you do with this? You got a gaping hole that you can't reseal. Okay, so I'm hoping that this works. I think the peanuts are a little off drawing, but okay. So I'm just going to throw some eggs on it. Yeah, I want to make it like a little bird's nest. I don't know. They don't stick as well as I'd like them to, but that's okay. You can always goo up the marshmallows some more. I need some more pink. I need pink in here. Ooh. And we've got too much green. Some more yellow. I have no yellow happening. Okay, like I said, I'm inventing a recipe. I have got some talent. Okay, so I'll make a little Easter egg. Okay, I think that looks cute. I'm thinking this looks really cute. I don't know. Just keep throwing some eggs on it. Everyone doesn't like me. Why a nice little orange mask? I think. No yellow. Okay, I think that looks good. You've got this big, solid little Easter bird's nest treat, okay? And then there's another little thing that I made yesterday. Is check out these cute little bird's nests. Look at them. So you can use this recipe and use little bird's nests. But I do find the only bad thing is that the jelly beans really don't stick to the, the stuff. Maybe I need more marshmallows, but this is cute, right? How cute is that? All right. So, yeah, I picked up these candies at Dollarama, and this was my idea, okay? This was my big, huge Easter idea. I think it, I just spilled jelly beans all over the place. Great. Well, this is it. I hope you like it. Tell me, please comment how cute this idea was. I know it was a little bit of a train wreck, me kind of making it, but... It looks good. It tastes really good. I can't wait to eat this tomorrow. I'm going to bring it to my party and hopefully, yeah, I hope it goes over good. So until next week, goodbye.